The Sudanese army says it's advancing on the town of Heglig days after South Sudanese troops captured it. There's been heavy fighting over the disputed border town, which accounts for half of Sudan's oil production. For more on this, let's go live to Nazin Moshiri, who is in South Sudan's capital, Juba. Nazin, is South Sudan now in full control of Heglig? As far as we understand, and clearly we're not there, but as far as uh, we understand from the South Sudanese army, they are still in full control. We were shown uh, pictures which were uh, obtained by Al Jazeera, which show them uh, having control of the airport at Heglig, the hospital at Heglig, and also key really for, for South Sudan and Sudan, the oil installations at Heglig as well. But what we're hearing is, as you say, that uh, Sudanese warplanes have bombed the area close to Bentu town, which is within South Sudan. Uh, it is the capital of Unity State. And we understand from speaking to people up there that five people, five, four civilians, one soldier were killed in those bombings. The target, it seems, was a strategic bridge leading to the front line. But really, the situation does seem to be escalating. Sudan on one side saying that they will be advancing on Heglig. They've been saying that for the past 14 hours or so. Uh, but it does seem uh, for now that Heglig is still under the control of Juba. Now, uh, Sudan actually has the backing of the UN and African Union, doesn't it, over Heglig internationally. Heglig is recognized as Khartoum's territory, but South Sudan isn't backing down at all, is it? Yes, Heglig is recognized as uh, Sudanese territory under uh, the Hague's Arbitration Court ruling of 2009. But it really doesn't matter to the South Sudanese. I think they are really using this as a bargaining chip. They say they won't withdraw until the UN sends monitors to protect that border region, something the UN probably won't be able to do. It's just not feasible. Also, this is far more than just about Heglig. This is about not only decades of civil war and South Sudan trying to assert its independence, but also other disputed areas like Abia. And the key to all of this is oil and working out how the revenues from that oil will be distributed. Now, the two sides were supposed to sit down and talk about this last week at a summit between the two presidents. They have been unable to do so. The Sudanese pulled out of those talks. But it really does seem, unless uh, these two sides sit down and talk, none of this will be resolved. Okay, Nazin, thank you very much.